the web host. So if you go to panel.dreamhost.com and log in using the login credentials that you got via email, you'll get one of the one of the pages on your panel. It'll be whatever page you left um, will be the one that you go back to. Um, I'm just going to touch on some of the highlights of things you can find here. One of the things you can find is manage account. This is this lets you know um, uh, how much you have to pay monthly, when your account is coming due, those kinds of things. Domains and manage domains uh, lists all of the domains that you are ho that are you, you are hosting on this account. So um, some of these may be registered by by DreamHost. So for example, in this case, it tells me that the registration for this domain has only 28 days left. Um, and some of them, the ones that say unknown, are actually registered in an outside registrar. And so they're hosting accounts there. But um, in fact, there being uh, the the domain itself is registered elsewhere. I can edit my web hosting to see what's being done there. You'll see that this is the domain that's being hosted, and you can do a few things with it. You, when people come to it, you can use whether they have the www or not. Um, you could add a www if they ever get to put it there, or you can strip out the www if you just don't like having it. So you can do three things when people come to your site. On DreamHost, at least, the www dot domain and the regular domain are actually the same site, so you could do some things with it um, depending on how people arrive. Um, it tells you what user is registered for this domain. Note that you can have multiple users, each of them um, on the same DreamHost account. So I actually have many, many users on this particular account, and each of them have different domains that they control. In this case, located is the user that owns this particular domain. And you'll see here that the web directory or web root is ho slash home slash located, because that's the username, slash halivay.com. In many cases, the as we'll see later on, the web root or web directory is actually public underscore HTML or something similar. In, for DreamHost, they actually have the name of the domain um, as the directory that is the web directory or the web host. Or the, sorry, the web root. All right. Um, uh, so there's lots of other things here that you can explore on your own. Um, you might have to kind of add registrations or transfer them, and you can do that on this menu. You can manage the email um, that you're hosting on the site. So if you go to email, you'll see that you can either have mailboxes and create emails, or you can have emails that just forward to another email. So here you have emails that are actually being hosted by the account, and down here you have forwarding emails, so you can have as many email addresses as you need. Um, I'll skip over some of that. Under goodies, you have MySQL databases, and we'll talk more about that when we create MySQL databases. You have one-click installs, which um, I usually don't use, uh, but um, there are, are reasons you might want to use them to do something very quickly, like install a, a very simple WordPress site. Um, if you wanted to do a more complicated WordPress site, you'd probably want to install WordPress yourself. There's also, I'll note here, something called HT Access, and we'll talk more about that later. That allows you to put a password on a, on a site, which is useful while you're developing it, so nobody kind of uh, finds the site you're working on before you're ready for them to see it. And um, there's a section here where you can manage users. As I said, I have a number of, of users on my account, and you can create multiple users. For example, if you want your friends or coworkers to be able to have access to the site, you can create users for them, or if you wanted to kind of share your, your, your hosting in some way. Uh, and the final thing I'll note um, down here at the bottom is that if you need to contact support, you do it through the dashboard as well. So here's where if you have a problem with your hosting, something's not working, um, you failed to get access for some reason, um, or, or there's some kind of a problem, you can contact support. Uh, at some point, I think they actually charge you for support, but at, basic, at a basic level, um, if there's a problem with the hosting, they can kind of help to fix that. Mind you, if there's